Okay, we are back. We're still working on 1.19.3. And right now we have pretty much all of the resources available to create steel. Just to have to mine it. So, what I'm going to be doing in this play session is I'm largely going to be focusing on building the homestead. Like, I need to get this house up and running. I need to get these fired up. Oh, wait. I'm still working on that. So, yeah, anyway. Put those back. I need to get some other stuff fired up. These bloomeries are empty. And we still got... Uh, we have our fire bricks fired up. So I'm going to start moving stuff from this temporary house over to where our permanent home will be. Like one of the mistakes I made in one of the, uh, one of the playthroughs I did, I think it was 1.15, is that I just kept going back and forth between... Uh, resources and locations and back home so we need to cut down on the travel distance so if I get uh, all of these resources transferred over to our permanent house over to that site then so much the better now in the last play session I did locate iron and I mined a Pretty good chunk of it. I think we have enough iron to last the entire playthrough, so I shouldn't need to go down into that iron cave anymore. And if I have to, then the iron is still very accessible. But we should have enough, I'd say. Now with these bricks specifically, I want to create some bloomeries here. So I'm thinking this area right here is where I will build my house. So I'm going to have to dig down here to create the cellar area. Now what I want to do... Make two of these. Two of these. And then we'll put down the rest of these bricks. Stored out here because all of this storage is pretty much full at this point. And you know, I can actually store the boards out here instead of the storage. Because we still don't have uh, too many storage spaces just yet. Now, I do have the fire clay bricks here, so I can start building out the home at this point. And I'm going to have to build pit kilns somewhere in this area. In the meantime, let's just put this here. Now you can't use the bloomeries with the brown coal, so I'm going to have to try and locate those resources. Or maybe, like... Actually, probably should head out and try to locate that stuff, shouldn't I? I'll just store some of these turnips here. Yeah, there we go. So, I'll at least go out for a little bit. And along the way, I should pick up a few more sticks, just so I can fire up some more of those uh, fire clay bricks. And I also need to collect more fire clay. Oh, there's a wolf over there. Yeah. Aggroed. What do I have for spears? I got four spears. You know what? Let's just stay away from that area. Let's just head a little bit west.
Don't really like harvesting these bushes because they don't have a huge concentration of sticks compared to like oak trees or bigger trees for that matter. But I do need that vision. And unfortunately, I can't light fires unless I set up a pit kiln here. But anyway, here's the iron ore cave and here's our iron ore and a whole bunch of other stuff. I do have a little bit of quartz as well. Wait, we have a bountiful chunk. Wait a minute, so there is a bountiful chunk down there beside the rich deposit. But, in any case, we should have enough iron ore as it is. But, if not, I can always get some more. Now, it's 9.52. So, what I'm going to do is head south. Like... Head over to the... What's his face? The trader? I forget what trader he is, but basically he... Wait. Did I hear bees? No. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. But... Basically, I head to the trader. I remember... Like... Discovering... Uh... What is it? The black coal. Or... I didn't discover it, per se. I... Uh... Picked it. So, I do know it is somewhere down over there. Whoa, what the? Oh, that's a pig. Never mind. I do need lots of sticks, so... We'll just get these along the way. If it's convenient. And it is pretty far south from here. It's like beyond where I initially get the bauxite. Oh, I should eat. And I think we'll be going through this path like fairly frequently. No game, I am not panning anything. But the music is welcome. I like this song a lot better than the clown music. I'll just say that. White currants? Sure, I'll take that. Now, I probably should start collecting these bushes. Especially these white currants, since this is like rare. Wait a minute. There was three. Yeah, that's what I thought. And we do need food anyway. Uh, I'll avoid... The cranberries. Got more white currants. Yeah, so here's our box site. I probably should collect these because we do have our farms pretty much ready to go. It just needs more seeds, so I'm not really sure how many I have, but I do have a significant amount. Wait, these aren't crops. need to start trimming this path.
There's a box there. Oh, we got some resin. I think we're far enough south that I should start picking. Get my bearings on the black coal that's supposed to be in this area. You know, I do need to throw these away. Now, I can always use more flax. Now, my inventory is full. Probably should start eating these or consuming, like, one of these stacks. Yeah, so the black coal should be in this general area. I do need to find a cave and start picking. Or no, we went too far. Now, I do want to go into that cave eventually where the crosshairs are. Yeah, let's find a cave around here. Like, somewhere in that direction is a traitor, and yeah, there it is. Just need to find a cave entrance. Pretty sure I collapsed a hole somewhere here. Or, you know what, just... Let's just pick this area first. Yeah, very high cast rate, alumni, chromate, bismite, galena. Uh, actually, no. We'll go back just a little bit. Like, it's supposed to be in this general area. Now, of course, the goal here is to get a whole bunch of black coal so that I don't need to make charcoal. It'll save us a lot of time if we can get our hands on a deposit here. Okay, 1341. Just need to find a cave here, but we'll pick this area. I just need to know if I'm getting warmer or colder. I cast red, limonite, galena, chromite. No? Like, I could have sworn it was around this area. Or do I just. Wait, we got high fertility soil here. We also got a hole here. Jeez. All right. So let's do this very carefully. Or maybe I should just suck it up and make a charcoal pit. Alright, so let's start taking this out. Yeah, all of that high fertility soil is just gonna, like, collapse in there. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's... Let's just consume this. Like, if we can get enough high fertility soil to make one lane... Of dirt, so much the better. 
Be careful. Oh! Yeah, that's not gonna work. Why the hell does this have to be at a hole here? Oh, whatever. At least I'm finding the dirt. Oh, also finding resin. They only have like one stack of this. Or one, two, yeah, two stacks of sticks, but I just need more sticks. Like, I could have sworn uh, the black hole that I picked here was around this general area. I mean, it's... Okay, I've picked this cave before, but I already forgot what's in it. Okay, decent limonite, native copper, lignite, borax. <sighs> yeah, it has to be south. But it's already starting to get dark, so we'll just leave it at that for now. But hey, high fertility soil. I'll take it. And I will also take these bushes. Maybe we should just go wide going back. Just so we can collect some crops here. Oh, what the hell? Okay, let's eat this. Okay, we shouldn't need to pick this area, though. Oh, white currants! So, let's just finish off this day with a crop run. Or bush run. Alright, so easy cave to enter. Alumni, Casteroid, Galena, Chromite. Yeah, it's not really worth it, so let's go ahead and collapse this. Just fill that hole in. Okay, I think we're done in this area. Okay, start making our way home now. It's 
Except this isn't the way home. Just want to take a peek here just a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's worth it going in this direction. All right, let's head back. Probably should fill in that stack of sticks though. Oh, we got some walnut here. Okay, where are we at? 40? We're going to have to cross over here. Oh, look at that. We got more blacks. Okay, let's finish off this stack. Okay, so we've already been through here before. But wait, that looks like... Onions! We could use more of those, except... Have to get rid of this. The vegetables are hardest to find. So, gotta try to get those whenever we can. Even though it's in low amounts. Okay, let's start heading back. We start cutting through here. At this point, I really don't need to dig into the ruins. Okay, so there's our iron ore, which means our home is somewhere around here. There's a trader. And I need to put bushes down. What is that? Oh, it's one of those new deer. So you're not a threat. Oh, we do have a nearby peat deposit. Maybe we should check around here. See what we got. Okay, we got a ruin here. 
And I think that's really it. There are several ruins. Okay, that's for forage. Oh, I need to eat. Let's go with the black currants. That's the smallest stack at this point. So I need to put these bushes out of the way. I think this will be a good place for it. Okay, then we'll do the black currants. And then the white currants. Let's get this growing as soon as possible. Like the mistake that I made in the last playthrough was that I just got stuff up and running just way too late. So I never ended up harvesting any of those bushes because winter just came before it like matured. So anyway, rift activity is calm. Let's work on this thing. Okay, I, I brought my scythe with me. Uh, let's just store these seeds for the time being. So we got 47 rye seeds, 37 turnip seeds, 36 onions. Okay, we got a stack of spelt and a stack of flax. Where's our onions though? Oh, we did check there are onions. Okay. And then we have an overflow of spelt seeds here. Okay, we'll do that for now. Store this flax here. Wait, do we have resin? A stack of resin somewhere? Oh, yeah. So we got 11 resin at this point. But what I really need is more fat. So we're going to have to go hunting eventually. Okay, I'm going to make some hoes. Wait, that's an axe head. I'll just leave that there for now.